Vicky? A television show called The New You. Hmm, what was it about? Ladies, does your man take you for granted? Does he come home, grab a beer, and plop down in front of the TV? Maybe it's time to put the zip back into your relationship with a complete makeover. It's time to create a new you. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, we have any cold beer? I want to watch TV for a while. It's time. Ed, ever since you got that cable sports channel, all you do is watch TV. Well, sure, honey. I mean, they got sports from all over the world. I can watch boxing from Brazil, soccer from Spain, rugby from Romania. I can watch guys cripple each other on five continents. It's been ages since we've been out together for an evening. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's boogie and get down. <laughs> Jeez, I, I really like to do that, but tonight it's wrestling from France. It's Jacques Napoleon versus Pierre Hitler. <laughs> And winner, winner gets Europe. You know something, Vicky? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is time for a new me. The old one isn't doing too good. <laughs> Mom, I'm gonna go out and shoot some baskets before dinner. Hey, not so fast, Magic. Have you finished your history assignment yet? Oh, sure. Almost. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's still working on the title page. <laughs> Jamie, tomorrow's Friday and it's due. And finals start on Monday. You're not doing too well in history. Don't worry about it, Mom. First I'll sing some baskets, then I'll sing the Spanish Armada. <laughs> no, first you'll take out the trash while I try and pry your father away from the TV set. The trash is right here, Magic. over to remind you that Saturday night is fly night. What's fly night? Fly night's the last big date night before finals start Monday. First you fly, then you die. <laughs> Did I happen to mention that I'm available? Yeah, since you learned to speak. <laughs> Sorry, Harriet. I'm gonna ask Debbie Barnhill. Debbie Barnhill. What's she got that I haven't got? Actual measurements. <laughs> I just can't get anywhere with him. It's like he's a shiny new white wall and I'm a mud puddle. <laughs> I'd have a better chance if I was someone else. Then maybe it's time to create a new you. Miss Dora Fine of Pittsburgh landed her man by getting a complete makeover. What? Any woman can become a glamorous heartthrob with a few simple makeup tricks. Where'd you hear that? On TV, I know all the tricks. You do? A new me, huh? Okay, let's do it, Vicky. What's the first thing I'm going to need? Actual measurements. <laughs> now, remember, Vicky, you don't want Jamie to know who I am. So I'm not Harriet. I'm Tallulah from out of town. <laughs> yes, Harriet. You're not Harriet. Right. Do it like we rehearsed. Now let's find Jamie and get him to ask me out for fly night. <laughs> hey, hiya, gorgeous. What a hum. Who are you and uh, where have you been all my life? She's Tallulah, and she's been out of town. Well, I'm Eric, and you're something else. Well, hi, Eric, you all. <laughs> I'm a visiting here, because Dad is considering moving to your all city, you all. <laughs> she all's from a very rich family. Mm -hmm. She all's so rich, her swimming pool's like Michigan. <laughs> She all so rich, Arabs borrow oil from her. She all so oh, that's rich. enough, Vicky. You are saying you all? Yeah, we got this thing Saturday night called uh, Fly Night. You got a date? Not yet, you all. You do now. I do? But I do declare. Now, if you excuse me, love boat, I gotta break a heart. I can't believe it, Vicky. I've got a date with Eric. Uh-huh. 
You said you wanted a date with Jamie. A clunk. <laughs> Hung in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> oh, that. I know it's me. Uh oh, there's Jamie. Vicky, introduce me to your beautiful friend. This is my brother, Jamie. This is beautiful Tallulah from out of town. Charmed, I'm sure you all. <laughs> you might kiss at my little hush puppy. <laughs> your puppy will be glad to. <laughs> so, Tallulah, how'd you like to go out with me Saturday night? Well, how can I refuse, you Yankee Doodle Diane to you? <laughs> Great, I'll pick you up at 6.30. Where do you live? Well, uh, we're very wealthy, and I wouldn't want a mansion to intimidate you. Maybe we can meet someplace? Well, sure. I know this great Chinese restaurant, Wong Fats. It's where everybody goes. Well, I'll see y'all there at 6 30. <laughs> You're supposed to kiss it, you dumb hush puppy. <laughs> I'm a little mint jula. <laughs> Ta ta. Man, she is a knockout. And rich, too. She is so rich, her piggy bank has a drive up window. You won't believe it. Like, you really won't. Tell like it's a nightmare. Imagine me, like, dumped. Eric, like, broke our date for fly night. Yeah? Well, Jamie, I've, like, decided to, like, let you take me out fly night. Fly night? Couldn't we make it, like, tonight instead? Jamie, like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Like, don't blow it. <laughs> well, how about Sunday night? Please? Please? I'm begging you. <laughs> and, like, you do it so well. <laughs> He's, like, had a lot of practice. <laughs> okay, Debbie, I'll take you out fly night. Well, pick me up at six. Great. I finally get a date with two gorgeous women, and it's for the same night. Boy, I really messed it up this time. And, like, you did it so well. <laughs> Come on, go for it. Get the first down. Go, 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 go. Hello there, handsome. What are you talking out of bounds? That pass was complete. Come on. Here, ref, use these, huh? How about a good time, big boy? Do not let them block the punt. Do not let them block. They block the punt. They block the punt. I don't believe it. Yeah, look at I, me. I, hmm? Hey, nice dress, honey. Dodge your blue. <laughs> oh, defense! 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 Come on! De 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 defense! Defense! Reverse! Reverse! Come on! I saw that coming from last Thursday. Ted Lawson, either play me or trade me. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, honey. Uh, listen, uh, you got anything to munch on while we watch the game here? <laughs> Munch this. <laughs> and touchdown. Vicky, I've decided. I'm going to keep my dates tonight with both Tallulah and Debbie. Two dates, lots of luck. <laughs> well, little organization, it should be a snap. Hi! Harriet, if you came over here to bug me about a date tonight, I'm booked. He's overbooked. <laughs> I just came over to talk to Vicky, and I already have a date, Angel Cake. Oh, yeah? Who's the nerd? You'd know him. <laughs> well, have fun, Harriet. Vicky, I've made a decision. The other me, Tallulah, is going to keep both dates tonight with Eric and Jamie. I'm getting my first headache. <laughs> well, after all, if you have a flat tire, it's always good to have a spare. <laughs> but Jamie's my first choice. Now here's my plan. I'll disguise you as Tallulah, too. 
You'll go out tonight with Eric, he'll think it's me, and then I'll be able to go out with Jamie. Understand? I understand. I go out with Eric, the spare, and you go out with Jamie, the flat. <laughs> Come on, honey, come on. I, I said I was sorry about yesterday. Yeah, you should be. Come on, can't we call it even? I mean, you got an apology and I got a broken back from sleeping on the sofa. <laughs> come on, honey, how about a nice little romantic dinner, little cold champagne, and a red hot hunk of oh, man. <laughs> Kid, I'd love uh, it. Ow. Oh, honey. <laughs> you guys going out tonight? Me too. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going anywhere tonight, young man. What do you mean, Mom? I mean that I talked to your history teacher today, and she told me that your term paper was atrocious. Finals start on Monday, and you're staying home and studying. But, Mom, I've already made plans. Okay, you'll just have to cancel them. Dad, talk to her. Reason with her. Be a hero to your son. <laughs> Uh, uh, can't help you, pal. I'm skating on thin ice myself. I ask for leadership, and he gives me ice capades. We're leaving now, Jamie. Oh, I'm sorry you had to cancel your date tonight, honey, but your grades are much more important. Oh, that's okay, Mom. I understand. I won't lay a guilt trip on you. <laughs> Well, let's go, Mama. Your suburban stallion waits. No horsing around, stallion. <laughs> well, that's enough studying for one night, Vicky. I got two gorgeous women to keep happy. I'm out of here. Vicky, if Mom and Dad call later, say I'm too busy studying to come to the phone. Got it? Got it. See ya. See ya. Hi, I saw everybody leave. Are you ready, Vicky? I'm ready. Remember, tonight we're both Tallulah. I've got all the stuff at my house to dress us with. Now, come on! <laughs> This is it. Long facts. Ew, Chinese food. Like a gaggy with a chopstick. <laughs> well, this is my favorite booth. Good evening and welcome to Long Fats. Your menus. Gracias. <laughs> so like how's Peking duck? It just flew from China. And boy, are its wings tired. <laughs> Excuse me, Debbie. I have to wash my hands. It drives them good. I hate wet hands. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm supposed to meet someone here. Hi, Tallulah. Well, hi there, my little hush puppet. <laughs> Let's see. Well, this is my favorite booth. Good evening and welcome. <laughs> Don't I know you? I have a real common face. <laughs> oh, boy, we sure are hungry. Tell me all how the Peking duck. It just flew in from China, and boy, are its wings tired. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the chow mein. Figures. Oh, China, this is so romantic. I could just sit here forever with you all. Yeah, me too. Excuse me, I have to wash my hands. Hi, y'all. I mean, I'm back. Like, my life is now complete. Now then, have you decided... <laughs> it's you again. Of course it's me. I mean, I've been me since I was born. <laughs> Laugh? I thought I'd never start. <laughs> like, can we eat? I'm hungry. <laughs> sure. We'll have... Let me take a wild guess. Chow mein. 
Good guess. <laughs> you know, this place isn't so bad. Like, I found three dollars on the table. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry, but there's a mix-up. This booth is reserved for some regular customers. Would you move to another booth, please? I oh, no problem, you <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> you don't this place too long. Out of sight food, everybody comes here. I'm sure I like it, my little begonia blossom. Kind of pie. Chitlin, Could you get us a booth? I'd better call my folks. They like to know I am. No problem, sweet pea. Butterfly, cornbread, y'all. Yeah. You know, they all do look alike. are sure getting filthy again. Excuse me. Like, what are you? Some kind of water weirdo? <laughs> I am back. Miss me? Not at all, honey bun. Turtle dove. Cow pie. <laughs> then I'll go wash my hands again. Mr. and Mrs. Krellman, your booth is ready for you. <laughs> Miss, I told you, this booth is reserved. You'll have to move, please, this way. All right. Everywhere I look. And then I got really heavy into the Brady Bunch, and it's like changed my life. Interesting. Excuse me, Debbie. I, Jamie, if you like wash your hands one more time, I'm washing my hands of you. Oh no, honest. I have to call my folks. See, there's some great hand soap in the restrooms. I was gonna see if I should bring some home in a doggy bag. Oh, well in that case it's okay. Oh, there's an empty table, hon. I thought you'd get a kick out of coming to Wong Fats. I mean, we haven't been here since we were dating. Oh, it's a wonderful idea. I used to love it here. And I thought it'd be real nice to spend an evening alone without the kids, huh? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Boy, there's some great gum under here. <laughs> you mind if a couple of curious parents get into this? Jamie, what are you doing here? Well, uh, Mom... Oh. It's our little old secret. <laughs> oh, really? What's our little old secret? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamie, start explaining. Well, Dad, 
Would you believe a long, complicated, crazy explanation that I don't understand myself and would insult your intelligence and make me look ridiculous? Of course not. Good. See you in the morning. <laughs>